back with another video for you today. I've got Dahlia here. I called her in, I said, let's do another haul video. Everybody seemed to like the storage unit haul video. And this is another haul video. We've got probably 20, 25 fragrances from two different brands. And then we also have some lesser fragrances from two other brands. One English brand, two French brands, one Italian brand. Haul video coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. This is... I'm Dahlia. Hello. How are you doing? Excellent. Thank you. Ready for this? I think I was born ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is a $3,500 haul video. Oof. I spent $3,500 on all these fragrances. And we've got fragrances, vintage fragrances, I should say. Vintage... I didn't say. Vintage fragrances from L'Artisan Parfumer. Excellent. Vintage fragrances from Penhaligons. Lovely. Older formulations fragrances from Cartusia. Mm. Vintage fragrances from Patou. Ooh, as in Jean? Jean Patou. Nice. Are you ready for this? Da -na -na. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why don't we go ahead and uh, open up the box. Why don't we start with the smaller brand? So we've got Jean Patou. So Jean Patou, there's a, several older fragrances and maybe a couple of newer fragrances when they rebranded just before LVMH bought them out. So this is the first one. It's sublime. This is uh, Jean Patou Sublime. Do you know this one? I don't. I feel like that's probably not how you pronounce it in French. Sublime. Yeah, that sounds more So French. Sublime, I looked it up. This bottle is from the early 90s. And man, it still smells like it's in perfect. Oh, so this isn't a surprise to you. No, it's not a surprise to me. It's only a surprise to me. It's only a surprise to Dahlia. Nice. So what do we get with this one? Aldehydes, right? Lots of aldehydes. Uh, kind of a soapy, uh, like boozy almost. It's so concentrated, but not like a brown liquor, if that makes sense. I'm getting like lots of uh, aldehydes up top and like a dense amber in the bottom, maybe some leather in there. I'm getting sort of um, like very dense yellow florals. Okay. Yeah, I can see the flowers in there too. Mm -hmm. Tropical flower, floral, like maybe ylang ylang? Banana? No banana. No banana today? Cookies? Mm -hmm. No, that's, that was our last <laughs> haul video. <laughs> Mint and cookies. Very nice. Right, yeah. This... So, um, so just so that everybody who watched the other haul video knows, we pre-gamed this time with boxes so yes. that I can appropriately organize. But you already know these things. I already know these fragrances. I smelled them. I bought them because I smelled them. Okay. It's not mystery. Okay. It's $3,500 paid. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Probably put them somewhere to sell them or just keep them. But or anyway. wear them. Well, wear all of them. I don't know if I can wear all of them. You could wear that. All right. This next one is uh, 1000 by Jean Patou. You know this one? I have a sad story about this one. You do? But you can add it out if you want. No, sad. tell us. I... Um, bought a bottle of sealed 1000 vintage whatever and it was total vinegar like wow. it's the only time that's happened and it was this one so I haven't actually smelled it okay. because and I, I very genuinely it was like white vinegar wow. from the plastic jug <laughs> that you might clean with No, this is still in fine condition. This one I'm getting fruit compote. It, it's um... Also, look at the juice. This has a very strong alcohol kind of feel to it as well. I think that this would need to kind of mellow on skin. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, then we have the original Joy. I wore through a bottle of this. You did? Mm -hmm. The one that's in the little black uh, um, have you seen that? It's like almost like heart shape. Oh, I like that bottle actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's small. So when I say I wore through it, I it's probably thirty mil. Mm. But um, what is this like a thousand roses or something? That's what they say. Mm -hmm. It's nice that these match. These are oh, this one's a little, little animalic too. Mm -hmm. More than the one I wore. Wow. 
So these three fragrances, I believe, were from, well, the first one was from 1991 or two. I looked it up. These two were from the latter part of the 90s. And then we've got a couple of modern ones. This is uh, Eau de Patu. Mm -hmm. This is in the current uh, uh, formula, well, not formulation. Well, yeah, formulation, but also presentation, presentation after they were purchased. I think they were purchased by uh, LVMH, right? I'm not the LVMH person. bought Patu so they could use the name Joy in one of their fragrances from Dior, I think. Oh, that's nice. It's a citrus, I think, right? Yeah, but it's it's easy, it's cheerful, it's accessible. Yeah, that is quite nice, yeah. Pleasant. I mean, you should probably edit it out, but this looks like the bottles. What's that Dutch guy? Slow Dive. Here I'm green. Oh, kind of. Yeah. It's Dutch, right? He's uh, he's from Canada, but he lives in uh, he lives in uh, yeah Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is Patu Pour Homme, a tester bottle. And Patu Pour Homme is not the old formulation. This is the new one, uh, which I've actually shared an image of this on Instagram already. Um, you showed the people before you told me. I did. Well, you should have seen it if you follow me. I do follow you. <laughs> It's nice. To me, it smells like uh, New York Intense from uh, Nikolai. It smells like, uh, I can't put my finger on it, but like maybe Dracar Noir or something kind like. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A modern take on Dracar Noir. Yes. So this, these, these are the only patus we have. There's five of them. What do you guys think so far? What do you think so far? Nice. Nice. So we've got four Cartusia fragrances. Do we visit them? We visited them on Capri. Yes. So this one, I can't read it. It's I.O. Capri? I.O. Capri. I.O. 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 Is this gonna like break if I open it? No. Okay. All right. Ooh. You like? I do, I like this. It's peppery, minty. I'm getting it's, mint. It's very like outdoorsy in a very classy way. It's very like, I mean, not to be the cliche that I am, but it is very like what I remember from Capri. Mm -hmm. It's the like stone and the citrus trees and the like. Humid weather. Balmy. Balmy. This is quite lovely. This is, this would be great for summer. Really? Don't you think? I think so, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm getting mint tea with it. Which means I can't wear it. Oh. You know mint does bad You want to try it on? No. Okay. We have too many things here for me to, like, commit any skin at this time. <laughs> what was um, Okay, so this one um, only says Carthusa, 1681. So these are the previous Cartusia bottles. They've been redone. I don't know if they've gotten reformulated or not, but these are the previous editions. I like it. It's got a nice little, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of black and white picture. I like that. Me too. Okay. So this one is? Similarly kind of outdoorsy and lovely for summer, oh, but well. not, but different. It's not the same, but I it's like kind of the better. same feel. This Look. one's a little more classic to me. The mm -hmm. other one's more modern. Yeah, a little more kind of cologne splash. Ooh, I like that a lot. Very nice. Yeah. That would be classified as a sheep bra, I think. Mm. I'll put that inside. Oh, instead of me like throwing them on the ground? <laughs> as I have been? No worries. Okay, so this one is... Via... Wait. Via? Via Camarel? I think that's the street they are on. <gasps> remember we were looking for them when we were there? I do remember that. We ended up... Um, there were a lot of people. It was busy. Nice. Italy is very traveled. Mm. Was very oh, cool. nice. This is really lemony. Mm -hmm. But with a floral kind of mm. brightness. I think the cap is like a little heads up of what you're going to get. Yeah. Yellow floral. No, not yellow floral, yellow fruit, I think. Citrus fruit. Yeah. But the, but like blooming. Like, you know, before the, before the fruit, you have the flower. Mm. And then finally, this is their most popular fragrance Mediterraneo. I believe that's what it is. Does that say that? It does say that. Yeah. All right. 
I've seen this brand, but I don't know this brand, which is crazy because I was there. See, Joe carries this brand. I've, Ooh, I've lemon. smelled them many times. Lemon lozenges. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, this is like lemon head candy. <laughs> yeah, that's what it smells like. But you know, I have the current version. It's not as strong as this. This is really potent. This is really nice. This is um, like, it's actually making my mouth water, like in that way when you uh, twist the lemon peel and it makes that little oil spritz. Oh, it's like. It's good. Yeah. I see why this is the favorite, but they're all really lovely. They're all kind of summery and bright and um, um, juicy. Juicy is a word, yes, for sure. Okay, so we are done with the two smaller. I enjoyed that. You did? I did. I think if like if you said, okay, you have to pick one to wear, I would pick one from the Carthusia pile before the Patu. Patu, okay, Patu. cool. Patu. So why don't we go to L'Artisan Parfumer now? I wore La Chasse aux Papillons for a long time, and I wore Pimen Pruon. Oh, I think I have that one. <gasps> okay. All right, so this is Mimosa Pour Moi. Is that what it says? It does. Do they even sell this fragrance anymore? I don't even know. Um, I, it used to be like everywhere. It used to be Lardizan was the only niche you could get. And I haven't seen them since Barney's closed. Mm. Um, that's nice. It's a soft kind of... Oh, very spring uh, mimosa flowers. It's just basically spring here, so I think I'm kind of feeling these layer florals. Would you wear mimosa? Do you like mimosa? I really want to be that person who has the bouquet of yellow mimosas on my table, and I always seem to catch the trees like as they're done blooming. There's like one puffy yellow flower and <laughs> just like a bunch of leaves. Like I'm not walking at the right time. You do have it. No, this is actually oh. one that I know people are gonna really love. This is Travis Fa Traverse du Bosch Pour. I don't know if you're gonna like this one, it's sweet. Mm. Oh, and it's missing a cap. Mm. Damn it. Uh-huh. This is a Bertrand du Chaffon created fragrance. I absolutely love it. It's like Turkish delights with rose. Mm. It's sweet. It's very sweet. This is, um, mm. there are a lot of memes about, like, did you read the Narnia books and were you disappointed when you actually tasted Turkish Delight? And it's like, <laughs> yes. Does I it did. smell like a Turkish Delight to you? Um, Have you had any? The one time was enough. Rose Turkish Delights with pistachios were my favorites. And this doesn't have the nuttiness of the pistachios, but definitely. Like, if I'm going to go for too sweet, like, if I'm going to go for, like, sweet? Candy corn. Candy corn, okay. Or like those, what do you have them at Easter with the uh, Cadbury? Oh. With the like, basically it's candy corns in the middle, I'm pretty sure. Mm. I go for the robin eggs. The who? Robin eggs. I don't know what that is. Cadbury's robin eggs. Oh, like with the hard candy shell? Yeah. Mm. All right, this is saffron troublant. Do you like saffron? I do enjoy saffron. Mm. I don't, I didn't enjoy it at first, but uh, I do now enjoy saffron. What I like about saffron is because it creates the leatheriness, like an aromatic uh, herbal spicy, not herbal spicy more. Yeah, this does have that kind of like, it's like a very designer couch. You know, like... That's good. Mm. This is in perfect condition. There's no bad ones here. I actually had to go through these to make sure everything was good. I guess I've been missing cap. Yeah, I, I think they were supposed to provide me with an extra cap with that, but they did not. <gasps> What's that? Patchouli patch. What's that? Is that what it says? It does. I've literally never seen this. You've never seen this one? I've never even seen this one. Patchouli patch. Because if there was a Lardizan that I would grab for, I, I mean... You would pull, pick the patchouli? I mean... Come on. Patch hose. Are you guys here? <laughs> That's very nice. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. That is a really good patchouli. Wow. You've done well here. Collectibles. I mean, you can't really sell these. Oh, I know already people that want them. I, I know, but like, so do you. Muir at Musk Extreme. I'm not going to like this. Why? I, I'm just... I have a hunch. It's a fruity mu a musk. I can like This it. is their biggest seller of this brand, I think. I, mm. It's 
fine. It's nice. It's okay. It's, it's fruity. It's fine. It's berries. I think it's blackberries. Muir is blackberries, I believe, in French. Yeah, that's their most popular fragrance from what I hear. I feel like Chasso Papi probably is. I wore that. I wore a whole bottle of that. My number. Really? Mon numero. Oh yeah, this is Mon Numero. I might have a La Chasse of Papi. I, there, I, it is almost inescapable. I just don't know how you could purchase... I don't know how you could do a L'Artisan haul without the Chasse of Papi. Well, it's what, what was available. I wanted... Uh, what did I want? The pineapple one? I forgot. I, ananas something. I forgot that one. What is that? It's spicy. Nice. Yeah. Definitely L'Artisan. It's very like um, subdued, as was the musk. It's sort of um, subtle. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No. But the patchouli thus far is the one I'm jealous of. <laughs> I think they still make the patchouli. But haven't they reformulated? Oh, probably. L'eau du caporal. L'eau du caporal. Any of you guys know these fragrances? I know these have most likely been discontinued. I don't know what this one's all about. The one that people go nuts about, we haven't seen yet. Which one is that? I, I'll know it T42? when I see it. Mm -mm. No. Um, it'll come to me. Mm. It's a kind of like a an exotic kind of a name. Barracuda? No. That would just make me think of heart. I'm not sure about this one. I it's minty. Wasn't gonna say anything. It's quite minty. It's you know what it smells like? You know when you go to a restaurant and they have a tray of like uh, mints that you put in your mouth after it dinner? It smells like that candy. It's a little <laughs> bit toothpaste. Um, you can sell that one. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep all of them. That's not my favorite. Okay, so what's this one? Oh, poivre. Uh, piquant or something? Poivre or piquant? At you, you, I can only read so fast. Yeah. Is that the one you wore? No. Which one did you wear? Piment. Piment? Like pimento. Oh. And it's like a chili kind of... Oh, no, that one's not in here. I already have that one. <laughs> I think poivre is pear, right? I thought poivre was black pepper. Oh, yeah, it is. What am I thinking of? Well, somebody will tell me. In the comments. What is this? I can't. It's, it's peppery? It is peppery. Piquant. It's nice. Is this a, is this a, it smells like an Olivia Jacobetti creation. It's very fresh. Should I look and see if her name, her name wouldn't be on the box. If no. She so we're almost getting through the, uh, so this is the original Murat Musk, but we're almost getting through the, uh, I already had that. Well, that was the extreme. Oh. We have extreme and, uh, no, I'm extreme. Okay, we did that already. Okay, we'll skip that one. The other toilet, we'll skip. What's this one? We oh, Nuit de Tuberose is very popular. People really? are mad that that's been I, changed or something. I do have the the current one. This is the original, so let's see if it's different. Yeah, I'm curious too because it was like, it is really nice. I remember there being like a Katie Puck oh, video. Oh, this is much better than the the new one. It's gorgeous. Wow. Now I see. Because I remember uh, apologies to Katie Puckrick, who didn't know that I thought she was wrong. But I've only smelled the current one, and I couldn't tell why she liked it so much. But oh, this is this is beautiful, really gorgeous. Yeah, really, really lovely. You would wear that? Mm-hmm. You like white flowers? Yeah, I have too many. Too many. That's really pretty. Uh, Savi Alobe. Savi Alobe. I don't really know how you pronounce that though. Bob. 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 Le. Ooh, that's a nice color. Mm-hmm. Look at that. What is this all about? Oranges? That's an interesting, weird smell that I kind of like and intrigued with, but not sure if I want to wear it. It's kind of plasticky. Seville is or like it's a place with lots, lots it's in Spain like they, they get a lot of oranges. It's a little bit like like wood polisher like like wax for like a wooden Yeah, I'm saying plastic. It's kind of weird waxy plasticky. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe, you know what it could be? The peel. Um, what's that stuff that you put in the garden that it keeps mus mosquitoes away? Oh, right. Um, I'm drawing a blank with the name. Yeah. That stuff. Mm. A little uh, citronella. Citronella. It's a little citronella-like. Do you think? That's okay. I, I don't want to wear that one either. Volu de roses. Roses? Roses, roses yeah. I don't, I mean, I feel like this is Franglish. Like... Franglish? I don't know. That's a French <laughs> uh, Spanglish? That's something else. Okay. Let's see how good this is. Roses are red. Thoughts? Mm-mm. This is a sheeper for sure. It's got a patchouli back end. It's a very dry rose. It's very dry, yes, you're right. You like dry roses? No. You like a jammy? No. I like them fresh. Oh. Or more powdery. You like them in between? Green. Oh yeah, I remember you, the, the green roses that you like. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, two more to go from L'Artisan. This is... Lete en douche? Douche? Lete en douche? douche? These are definitely, oh, I, don't, I don't see these fragrances anymore, so these are definitely discontinued. Lovely. So. Lete, I think, is summer. It is? Isn't it? Hmm. I'm not French. I pretend to be, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not pretending to be. <laughs> kind of like baby, baby powder. Soft baby. musk, yeah. This is what I was actually expecting from the musk. Um, oh. And it does have a, it shares some notes with that. That one's fruitier and a little denser. This is very light. Airy. Mm -hmm. Airy. Ethereal. I mean, but I think deuce means uh, gentle. So I thought maybe deuce means sweet, no? That's dulce. Do it D-U-L-C-E, -D -E, and this is D-O-U-C-E. Oh, okay. I need to learn my French. I, I haven't really done anything since high school, so I... I'm really kind of making this up as we go. <laughs> okay. All right, so Batakuda is the so last. I didn't have either of the two. But you know what? That's funny because I did know that they've been reformulated because when I went to get a second bottle of Chasso Papillon, it was so different Really? than the first one. And I thought it was just that my like body chemistry had changed, I, which, you know, may have been a factor as well. No. I, I literally have never seen this. Never seen Batakuda. I saw it at Barney's quite a bit. Oh, oh, I know what this is. Is that the pineapple? That's not the pineapple one. It's a specific kind of like popsicle or candy that I totally like. Um, That's weird. I love it. I, I don't know what that is, but it's a specific oh, kind of fruit. It, it's or opening like, up. Yeah. It's very tropical, fresh. Ah, oh, that's great. That makes me think of uh, like travel in, in tropical climates. Hmm. And like. Non-American popsicles and fruity candy. <laughs> That's nice. All right, shall we start with the Penhaligans? I had already forgotten what the other brand was. Okay, let's see now. Ooh. Lily of the Valley from Penhaligans. I do like the Lily of the Valley. You do? Mm-hmm. Diorissimo. I have... Um, this smells like Diorissimo to Mugetto me. Mugetto from Santa Maria. Oh. Novella. This has like a... Almost a plastic vinyl kind of ness to it. I can see the plasticiness. Mm -hmm. Like a shower curtain. But their presentation is just so. Yeah, the the inner. Yeah. The liner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else you get? This one I can't see it. Extract of limes. Ooh. Limes, huh? Do you like limes? I like um, Christopher Street by Sheraton Maceration. Oh yeah, that one has a lime note. A? I mean, it's like a ton of them. This is great. This is limey. I could smell this it. This is really good. Ooh. This is. I'm. I'm actually a little bit jealous of this. Oh. <laughs> this is. Do they make it anymore? I don't even know. I mean, the bottle. Look at the. Look at how the label is different. Oh my god, this is so good though. Wow. That's, I'm. I'm. I. I. I'm a little bit jealous. Okay. But look at how different. Like the font at the bottom is different. Oh. Uh, the shape of the sticker is different. Mm, that the, one's a little more feminine. This is a little more masculine. The logo is different. I mean, this I think is really old. Oh wow. Yeah, this this lime is good. What is it called again? Extract of limes. Wow. Extract. That is delicious. I think if I was British, I would put the emphasis differently. Extract is American. I don't know. 
extract? Somebody or? British tell me Okay. how I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, so what is this one? Night Scented Stock. Ooh. What a name. <laughs> Were they sitting around the like conference room like, what should we call this? <laughs> Night scented stock. Paradox, that's what we're gonna call it. Mm. What, what? Mm -hmm. It's stock, all right. Mm -hmm. It's very dense. Quite dense. Mm -hmm. Very powdery. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you not I, saying something you should be saying? Come on now, I'm say not, it. I, this may have turned. It, it's, I don't think this is what they were going for. I don't smell turning. It, I, there's something sort of off, though. I think it's the smell. I've smelled this before. I don't know. It doesn't smell. That doesn't appeal to you. It's okay. Mm, it's not my favorite I either. I don't care for that one. Oh my God. Bluebell. This is uh, Princess Diana's fragrance. Aww. And I was asking for this the other day when I was in London at Penhaligons. They don't it's discontinued. The other day. The other day. Well, uh, last January. <laughs> Two months ago. Early January. <laughs> I, she wore that? Yeah. Oh, God. It's green. It's galbanum. Mm. Oh, no. I think it has hyacinth in it. That's what it is. Hyacinth. It's very, like, um, spring flower pollen. Yeah. Easter. It, it reminds me of Easter. I don't know why. So this one doesn't seem to be working. What is that? Elizabethan rose. There's the cap in case you guys want to see it. The cap doesn't stay. This is actually weirdly similar to the bluebell. It has that same kind of powdery, pollen y. Um, you know what this reminds me of? Plastic Barbie dolls. Tea rose. Oh. Also, which smells like plastic <laughs> Barbie dolls. <laughs> What does that say? Orange, orange Blossom. Orange Blossom. We like Orange Blossom in this. Uh, we do. And I love this little ribbon. It's so cute. Nice. It's got more of an orange juiciness. Mm. It's uh, less on the white floral side, more on the like orange juice. Quite powdery too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like um, like Orange Blossom water, like that you get at the Middle Eastern grocery store. Mm, yeah. Orange flower water, orange, whatever that stuff is. Yeah, I use it in cooking. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got lots of stuff here. Oh, I've wanted to try this one. Which one is this? Artemisia. Artemisia. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Do you like Artemisia in fragrances? Yes. Yeah. But not this one. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was thinking mm, Artemisia with. I mean, Artemisia does add a bitter note, and this is called Artemisia, and that is bitter. It's waxy. It's... Like, like... Yes. Gum resin or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that's correct. Oh. What? Fara. Okay. Do you know this one? Nope. I think it has uh, kumquats as a note. Do you like kumquats? I don't have an opinion on kumquats. <laughs> My mom has a tree, and then every time I go, I pick a couple and eat them. They're so good. Mm -hmm. Oh. Also this, bitter. This is... Is there saffron? Major saffron here. I'm getting leather. Saffron leather. Empressa. I don't know if all of these are discontinued. I thought this one might be fairly recent. Which? This Impressa. It's one of their more recent bottles, but it could be discontinued. I think you're probably right because it has that lightness that I associate with them. Whereas like the extractor, whatever of limes was super like high impact. That's actually really good. It's pretty. Yeah. That's nice. But, um, not, this is a office safe kind of, it's feminine. But I think it would depend who wore it. Yeah, I, I agree. But it, it would be like really beautiful as a linen spray. Okay. Like on, like on your bed sheets, like if you were in a hotel or something mm. and it smelled like that, wouldn't it be amazing? Like, yeah, mm. definitely. Right. What do we got here? Eau de Cologne. Eau de Cologne. 
I never even knew that they were making eau de cologne. I, it says to the courts of Europe. And then there's very tiny print that I actually can't read. Uh oh. I, I genuinely would need like one of those little jewelers <laughs> things you stick in your eyeball. Does this smell like eau de cologne? Oh, it's fresh. It's kind of like 4711. And. Zizonia. Zizonia? Is that vetiver? I don't know. I, I mean, genuinely. We've had quite the variety of ribbons. We have. We've had a gold plate plastic ribbon. We've had nice little neat bows. We've had not very neat ribbons. I wish there was tra la la. I want a bottle of tra la la. One of their fragrances is called oh. tra la la. I can't find it. I don't know about this one. What is this? I, I don't know either. A lot of them What is this called? Zizonia. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Let's see how that is. Ooh, that. Peony, totally peon, peony. It's nice, it's pretty, it's accessible, it's... Um, Wearable? Sweet, but not too jammy. Do you get roses from it? It has like a tea rose kind of quality to it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, elixir. This I know for sure I wore because uh, I bought it because Olivia Jacobetti created it. That was probably one of my very first uh, Penhaligons when I got into the game of reviewing fragrances. It's a smoky rose. Mm -hmm. This is basically Olivia Jacobetti's trademark style. She makes fragrances like this still. It's a good name. It's a good name. Yeah. Like what are you wearing? Elixir. Elixir. Oh, here we go with Iris Prima or Eri Prima. This is an Alberto Mori has created fragrance. It's the only one we've had so far with like a piece of leather stuck in like the bottle. I like that. Gives it a kind of different... It's funny, when uh, they launched this, the Saks at Fifth Avenue here had brought these ballet dancers for the launch of this. Oh, that's it's cute. kind of interesting. This is kind of an iris, so I think it dries down to a leather. It's it's denser than, it's, it, there's... It's more in the zone of like the Hubigon mm. iris. Yeah. But that has a lot more floral in it. Okay. But this is that heavier kind of. Maybe more Oris. Maybe. I mean, I'd I mean, Oris butter. But. Yeah. Okay, Iris Prima. And then. Ooh. Oh my god! You got a backup of Astara? <laughs> I still I kept the like box this that came in. This is delicious. That's is, really beautiful. That's a masterpiece right there. This is the one Penhaligon I have actually. This is a masterpiece created by Bertrand de Shuffle. We've probably smelled like seven or eight different creations by Bertrand. This is this is really. This is spring in the bottle. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's daffodil. It's not too sweet, but it's sweet. It's green, but not like outdoorsy completely. No, it's like yeah. a very refined kind of garden. Oh, this is so good. That's so That's good. That's a masterpiece for sure. They, I mean, when they did this one, the bottle was like papered with little daffodil tissue paper. You have the box for yours? I kept it. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. LP number nine. I think it stands for Love Potion number nine. Oh. I think that's what it stands yeah, for. Yeah, that. But I don't know if this is the male or the female, because there's there's two versions. It's nice. Yeah. It's, I it's mean, okay. I've smelled this before. I like it. Been there, done that. Yeah. But um, the song is cute, and the reference to the love potion. Is the bow supposed to be like this, or? I'm, I, we've had all the bows. We've had every kind of bow. Ugh, oh. And this bow is... Oh, this is the woman's. That one was the men's. So this is Love Potion number nine. I mean, that is a great color. That is really red. Kind of matches the red. I'm moving it away from... Oh, that does have color. They're very similar. You think? I do. Oh, I can see that. This is more spring flowers, but with a similar kind of patchouli they, there's a, woods. They, they, they complement each other. Okay. Share some notes. I think I prefer this one. This is nice. Mmm, nice. And that's the last fragrance. <gasps> Not as exciting as the storage unit locker, but well, it, these are nice vintage finds. You knew what everything was. So I, you I knew. weren't surprised. I wasn't surprised in this one. Um, but they're all very nice. <laughs> and it's, uh, you, it's, it's always nice to get to smell something that maybe doesn't exist anymore. And I know, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. Most likely we'll sell some of them, but some of some of them I really want to keep them, like the elixir. The that Nui de Tubros is, and the but what is it? Batuba or something? Baracuda. But 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 this, batucada. Bar, batucada. Baracuda. That one's good, and batucada. the extra de lime or whatever was amazing. Oh, that one's really good. So 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 good. Juniper sling, I think it's nice. Uh, depends because they still make this one. Is it vintage? I think it is. Very light. So what happened with uh, Penhaligons and Lartizan was they were independently owned, but Pouge bought them, P-U-I-G, and I think ever since then, kind of been going down, reformulations, discontinuations, a lot of there's, them. I mean, there's a lot of conversation about this, about people's preferences, and um, to be accessible, to wear fragrance in a shared environment, it has to be office safe. So some of these powerhouses have been reformulated to an office safe variant. Yeah, true. 
that's all the diplomacy I have for today. <laughs> but guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know what your thoughts are on these fragrances. Do you like them? Do you have them? Have you been wanting them? Um, yeah, there's some great, great stuff here. I'll be putting them to use in different videos and things like that. And uh, we'll do another haul video sometime in the near future. But either way, let us know if you have any questions. Put a comment down below. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for coming by. If you wanted to find where I'm at, I'm only on Instagram as at the perfumed Dahlia. Yeah, follow her and uh, follow me if you're not following me there. Uh, other than that, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.